To balance this equation, Fe, NO3, 3 plus NaOH, let's count the atoms up on each side. This is a double displacement reaction, so we're going to use a bit of a trick to make it easier. We have one iron, we have this nitrate here, and we have it here. So we're going to count it as one thing. We have one nitrate and then times three. So we have three of these nitrates. We have one sodium in this OH. That's the hydroxide group. We have one here, and then we have Again, we see it here. So we're going to count this. We just have one OH, one hydroxide. On the product side, we have one iron, one nitrate, one sodium atom, and then the one hydroxide times three. So that makes everything a lot neater, easier to add up. Let's see, we could balance the nitrates. We have one here and three here. So if I just put a three in front of the sodium nitrate, I have one times three. That gives me three nitrates. So that's balanced and one times three. So now we have three sodium atoms. But that's okay because we could put a three as our coefficient in front of the NaOH. Then we'd have one times three, three sodium atoms, those are balanced, and our one hydroxide times three gives us three of those. We're done, this equation is balanced. So you see how it helps when we count this NO3 as one item because it's on both sides, or the hydroxide because it's on both sides, makes the balancing a lot easier. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for iron 3 nitrate plus sodium hydroxide. Thanks for watching.